Hi world, Chatty Dad one coming at you today. Um, I've done some research on this um, deep underground tunneling systems and deep underground military bases for a couple of years now and I can now bring you a lot of information and a lot of pictures because they're absolutely bragging about the work that they've done. They've put it out here for everybody to see and they've said, look at this amazing stuff we've done. And I mean, uh, some of it's still, you know, very well hidden, but they are absolutely bragging abra about it now. And um, I've also had some contacts with some friends of mine in the construction business that have worked in some of these places work doing some of this construction and and stuff so it's for real uh, you know this is no joke and they have been preparing at a breakneck speed for something for them to be able to live underground for an extended period of time they have massive structures underneath the ground they have these drilling machines some of them are huge some of them are small but they are absolutely amazing they can go through solid rock uh, they make super time in cutting through rock or whatever I mean nothing stops them and it's just absolutely amazing at what they've done they have made an underground system underneath the United States, underneath the world. These things go everywhere. I'm talking everywhere. They are connected globally. This is done, um, I'm pretty sure that it's New World Order, um, Illuminati, Masons, you know, what have you, that is in charge of this stuff. These guys are the ones who've done all this work on these secret bases and on these, uh, I mean they plan on living here for years because uh, there's something something that they're planning on that they know about that's going to happen. Now I don't know for sure what it is. There's a lot of skepticism on what it could be, Nibiru, um, Wormwood, you know, something hitting the earth, the uh, kill shot with the solar flares, um, or just major, major martial law and, uh, you know, the New World Order takeover that they're going to come down here in these things and wait it out well all of the stuff goes down and they get everything under control then they're gonna pop back up and have their money wealth everything I mean and these are the things that they uh, put all around the walls after they've gone through and born board the uh, rock and dirt and stuff out of there they have conveyors that take it all the way back to the entrance of these tunnels miles and miles and these things go thousands of miles under the ground I mean deep under the earth this one here is the old style system of doing things and it took them a long time but now they have these tunnel boring machines that are absolutely amazing they are fast uh, you know as far as tunneling goes they are very fast and they are very precise and they can go as deep as they want to as long as they don't go into the uh, break through the crust and go into the lava uh, you know the liquid section of um, our planet because that's you know that's gone too deep and too far and you know they'll major major problems will be there for them but you can kind of see how they uh, you know this is a scale model of course but you can see how they're doing these things but it's absolutely incredible what they've done <clears throat> but they are definitely preparing for the stuff to hit the fan these things are for real and they are stocked they are ready to go some people are living in them 
there's been reports of uh, VIPs missing. Well, this is where they've gone. They've gone down into these um, penthouse suites, miles beneath the surface of the earth, and are living like kings. And I mean, these this is absolutely incredible. The system that they have put in place down the high rail speed, um, high speed rail systems. Um, this is Phil Snyder. Some of you might know about his story. He was a engineer and was working on an underground base system in Dulce, New Mexico, and they broke into a cavern of alien greys, the tall alien greys, and he was wounded very bad, uh, took off part of his hand and part of his guts, and uh, there were 67, 68 um, special forces units killed in this in 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 this um you know little fight that happened. But um, he talked about this incident until they murdered him. Um, he was shot to death, but they did end up killing him, and and he knew it, you know. And he told people, he says, you know, they're gonna they're gonna take me out, but I'm gonna talk as much as I can to let the truth be known about what is going on because he absolutely was for truth just like we are just like those of us who want to know the truth about things going on in the world we have the right to know this stuff our tax dollars paid for all this stuff I mean it's incredible they can grow stuff down here they I mean absolute total infrastructure that they have underneath the ground deep underneath the ground you know um, and some of these things are very well guarded with armed guards state-of-the-art um, sensors and everything you know some people say that it's Nibiru we don't know for sure what is going to happen but they are prepared they are definitely prepared for something big to go down and uh, personally, I'm going to prepare myself to, if I got to build me a little root cellar, then so be it. I'm going to have some place that I can go under the ground if there comes a bad, bad storm or something happens really bad. Because our homes are going to get blown away, I think. You know, I think underground is the safest place. They think this anyways, and uh, they have a lot more knowledge and are privy to more things than we are. But anyway, I just wanted to bring this to you guys because this is just absolutely amazing. I have found this so interesting for years, and uh, they're absolutely flaunting what they have now and bragging about it. So... You know, I, I can come out with all this stuff now, and there's so much on it. There's so much more than there used to be. You used to couldn't find information on this stuff much, but lately, boy, they are just so proud of what they've done. This is an aerial photo of an entrance. This is the entrance underneath uh, the Denver airport, and it's a big hub area, too. Dulce, New Mexico is, Denver Airport is, um, and some other places. But, you know, they're connected worldwide. They go underneath the oceans. It is absolutely amazing what these things have been able to do. See, here's, uh, here's Denver right here. Um, they, there's Utah. They've got it connected. There's Dulce, New Mexico there. There's um, Nevada, Area 51, probably. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it's just absolutely cool. And I wanted to share this with you guys. Here's an entrance here, you know, and they can just go down in there, drop down in it, and start going any direction they want to go. And with GPS now, they are very precise in where they come out, where they go in, they can have two start on different 
parts of the country and meet up in the middle exactly at the same spot. I mean, it's absolutely amazing what they've got. Um, Jesse Ventura did a uh, thing on it. And I've, other, I've seen others um, report, you know, taking supplies and stuff into these things. And they are. They are thousands of miles long. They're, that's no joke. They are absolutely huge. Um, and like I say, some of them are military bases. Some of them are not. Some of them are. There's cities under there. And it's absolutely amazing. And they are well armed. They are well stocked. And they are prepared. And I hope that we can do the same. I know that we can't do it on this level. But I know that we can prepare. And I'm, I'm going to have some videos coming out soon. That's going to uh, help us prepare. And help us to uh, get the things that we need. To survive this coming. The coming events. Because there's going to have to be somebody who's for freedom. And for truth and justice and and righteousness and good because there's got to be a balance there's a balance in all things and we've got to survive this and uh you know and we will with the right preparation and the right knowledge we can survive this stuff and we'll be that much stronger for it anyway i hope everybody's doing well this is chatty dad one god bless good luck to us all never give up your guns because your rights are joined at the hip with your freedom to bear arms. And uh, that's something that we never need to give up. Fight for it if you have to. Unless you want to be, uh, you know, unless you don't want rights and don't want freedom, then go ahead along with them. But that's not the world I want to live in. That's not the world I want my son to inherit. Anyways, I hope everybody's well. And uh, share this video if you want. And uh, everybody have a good one. This is Chatty Dad 1, over and out.